should you get and build Dorothy? Short answer, probably. Long answer. This entire video. ロドスの人たちにはもうサイレンスさんが紹介してくれちゃったのそれならかしこまらずに名前で呼んでちょうだいね Dorothy Franks is a six-star trap master specialist from Colombia. A cheerful and kind young woman who was born to an immigrant family from Sargon. Her father was a doctor and her mother was an explorer. And Dorothy herself is a very talented and smart person ever since she was young. Both of her parents are happy and proud of her. And because of this, they work very hard to ensure Dorothy can go to the best university. But alas this happiness didn't last forever. Dorothy's mother was killed in a natural disaster. Losing her dear mother, she fell into insurmountable sadness. And locked herself in her room for days. But eventually, she opened the door and appeared to have let go of her sadness in front of everyone. She has found the direction she will take for her future. Protecting everyone, and making everyone happy. At one point she joined Rhinelab. And this capable and outstanding researcher eventually became a director of its newest Originium Arts Department, but is currently stationed at Rhodes Island, after the incident that happened in her company recently, leading the collaboration project of both companies, and also assisting Rhodes Island with its many research project. To be frank, I'm so happy Dorothy is finally here in Global. Okay enough of that, Dorothy is our first 6 star trap master, a specialist that is somewhat similar to a marksman sniper. But their true uniqueness came from their ability to deploy traps on the field. That can give different negative effects on the enemy. Owing to her subclass and skill, Dorothy is a versatile operator. Mainly to do a crowd control and she also deals decent damage. So now, let's see more about her. Dorothy is a trap master that can deploy a trap or a mine that can be deployed to any unoccupied ground tiles. The trap has 3 dp cost and 5 seconds interval before you can deploy another trap. Some important things that you should note about Dorothy, or Trap Master in general. You will almost certainly deploy a new trap when it's available. That means Dorothy requires more an active play. And also requires careful planning, especially when you are using her skill 3 that we will talk about soon. But yes you can just spam and deploy her traps anywhere you like. And keep in mind when fighting in cramped stages with little to no ground tiles. Dorothy's usefulness will certainly go downhill. And also since you can't put any traps on a tile that is occupied by enemies. You don't want enemies to immediately be blocked by the allied unit. Although there are a couple of ways to clear the tile and make it unoccupied. Like using a pusher, hook master, or levitation effect. But it's not exactly something practical to do. Okay, now let's see her stats. She has the best stats among other trap master. And her attack and DPS are surprisingly better than Eksha. But of course this is just from the basic stats. Dorothy has a decent attack to attack enemies. And inflict more damage with her traps. And it also can be further increased with her second talent. She got a cheap DP cost which is nice. Considering you will most likely deploy her trap immediately after she is deployed. Now let's see her talents. This first talent determines how many traps the operator can deploy in store. And in Dorothy's case, she will also immediately deploy two traps upon deployment. Which is quite useful for immediately intercepting enemies. But the placement is random and can end up being useless. As for her second talent, each time her trap is triggered, she will gain an attack bonus up until 12 layers. You can tell when her second talent is at full stack. When the yellow aura around her gets more intense, and she changes her pose. It's relatively easy to full stack it as you will use her traps very often. And with this at full stack plus her add max levels, 
she can have 800 plus attack stat. Which is good especially since her skills have a big attack modifier. And then this is her potential upgrade list. Like most operators, I think she's fine without one. But of course all of these are useful. You can make her DP cost cheaper, increasing how many traps she can have at the same time. And overall increasing her attack. And currently, Trap Master doesn't have module. Alright, moving to her skills. All of Dorothy's skill will make her trap deal different effects to the enemies. While the active effect will just give her another trap. Let's see her first skill, it will deal a big amount of physical damage. And also weakens the enemy's defense for some time. Among her other skills this one gives the biggest attack modifier. But not exactly the best damage dealer. And also, the debuff that this skill offer is somewhat underwhelming. Mainly because Dorothy's defense debuff can be very inconsistent. As you'll need that certain enemy to keep on triggering her trap. And this debuff is quite weak when compared to other defense debuffer. Overall, not a very good skill. And it's better to use a trap that can stall the enemies. And let others do the debuffing job, while Dorothy stick to stalling enemies. Now let's see her second skill. This one deal less damage among her other skills. But it can hit multiple enemies and also gives bind effect. The bind duration is a long one as you can bind an enemy up until 6 seconds. And you will most certainly, can deploy another trap to bind that enemy again in the next tile. But the bind duration is shorter when it hits multiple enemies. This an awesome skill to keep the enemy from moving too much. I find it extremely useful when you need to keep away an enemy. That is best to keep away from your operators. As they can deal a heavy blow to your ops like these enemies. And it's less complicated, or less likely to go wrong and like her skill 3. It's also great skill to partner with other staller unit. And there exists a wacky but perhaps effective combo with Irene S1. Last but not least, her skill 3. This one deals arts damage with a big attack modifier. And this trap is also unique, it has an extended attack range. That can hit all enemies within and trigger other traps that are in range with 2 seconds delay. And her traps will slow all enemies up to 5 seconds. With the nature of this trap you can use them to create a chain reaction. To deal more damage to the enemies and extending the slow duration. Since there's a delay to activate another trap. In general this is considered Dorothy's main skill. That can give good arts damage with a pretty long slow. This skill rewards proper planning but can be punishing if you are careless. As the chain reaction might end up wasting your traps. For skill mastery priority. SP recovery and cheaper SP cost are important for Dorothy. If you keep spamming traps you might end up running out of traps. And need to wait longer until her new trap is ready. So thank god each of the mastery level will decrease her SP cost. The best skill to mastery is I think her skill 3. As it is her main source of damage, and the slow effect is also useful. Overall the mastery gain is quite massive. Skill 2 is your other option, it trades damage for a better crowd control. But like what some people like to say. There's no need for crowd control if the enemy is already dead. As for her base skills, for the first skill, when Dorothy is assigned to the factory, for every Rhinetech skill in the same factory, provides additional plus 5% productivity. This Rhinetech factory skill is provided by the following operators. And also Dorothy herself with her Eater base skill. So you should get plus 90% productivity with 3 Rhinetech B at the same factory. So, will Dorothy become a good operator for your team? Dorothy is a versatile crowd control operator. That felonies that probably no one else can't do. And good to use in most general stages. Or even in an advanced one depending on your strategy. For IS mode I rarely bring her in higher floor. But her flexibility as a ranged unit and her traps is pretty useful. However, I must say she is not a high priority to pull or even build immediately. Especially for new players. 
Mostly it's because her subclasses notably needs a lot effort to use correctly. And her reliance to ground tiles and can't put a trap under enemy's position. Makes her quite difficult to put inside a cramped stages or in some team composition. And her debut banner is also in a tight spot. Muina will soon enough make his debut, a strong operator that I highly recommend. And Tex Assault a limited banner is also quite close. Which consists of highly valuable units in almost all content. Overall Dorothy is not a bad 6 star. But she indeed is more of a fun or creative operator to use. So only pull for her if you know what you're doing. Or maybe because you like her as a character. That should be all. Adios.